and talk more on our uh, next interface. Now, let's talk about the NTP and DST. DST is uh, mostly concerning dates, start time, end time for dates. You can set it to say, okay, from social time to social date. Let uh, our recording be within this limit. That's for DST uh, protocol or DST function. Now for NTP, that's a protocol, a network protocol, network time protocol. Each, it has its own port number. That will be a, a something for another day. The uh, network time protocol here makes use of uh, time.windows.com, the DNS uh, address which means it connects to windows you people know know of windows already it connects to windows time time and once you activate it and there's internet access in your dvr you don't need to go to your uh, mvr data time to set time even though you don't have a bios uh, battery on a uh, cmos battery on your device whenever there's internet access and your device comes up it automatically syncs with windows time and brings up the correct date on your system based on your network time zone. Next. Okay, I think we missed something. Uh, we didn't explain this case one. Okay, let me just talk briefly from this. Uh, this is system time. That's uh, like initial. We saw this time and the date, which uh, which syncs very well with our own time. Then the time zone, the UTC plus one. Uh, with uh, West Central Africa is what we are going to be using. Then the date format, like I said, you can use uh, any format you want. It can be year, month, day, or month, day, year, or day, month, and year. So just choose any format that suits you. Then this is just different symbols that you can use to separate uh, your dates. Okay, so it's date separator. Then the time format, you can choose 24 hours or you can allow it to run 12 hours. So we're going to be using 12 hours. Okay, next. Now, for this place, it's for an added features for the MVR. This MVR has an added feature whereby you can set up a holiday for the MVR to go and rest. So you can just set it up, set the period and time. You can set it once in once uh, once. Or you can set it always after that particular time. The MVR will go to like I have a national mode or resting mode. That's just that. So I'm not setting it up in this video. I'm canceling it and I'm going to next. Okay, uh, in this interface, we have uh, two interfaces. One is the network interface one and uh, network interface two. Okay, so uh, this first interface. This is our default uh, device's IP address, okay? Now, this is the LAN interface of this uh, MVR, okay? Unlike our normal DVRs that has just uh, one interface. So, this particular MVR has uh, two interfaces. One, the LAN interface, and the second one is the WAN interface. So, one, WAN, that is Wide Area Network, then LAN, Local Area Network, okay? Uh, now, if we have uh, something like uh, a router, I want to connect to this MVR, and we want, to, uh, want our device to be viewed remotely, so we connect it to the one interface, which is the network interface too, okay? So in this tutorial, I'm going to be changing this IP address to our own preferred uh, IP addresses, all right? Now, by default, this MVR has a... Uh, IP address uh, on the LAN interface, which is uh, 1.108. And by default, it has this gateway, 192.168.1.1. So it works like uh, a normal router, okay? And the MAC address for this is this. And we'll have the subnet mask as this. So if you are, you'll be able to understand this more at Buddha into networking. So if you have learned basic networking, which I'm going to start very soon in my channel, you should understand what uh, default gateway, what gateway means, what subnet mask means, and what MAC address means, okay? Now, okay, coming to this part, we have uh, IP version, we have two version, here, version four and version six. 
Okay, so this system is either version 4 or version 6, but for this setup, we're going to be using version 4. Now, the preferred DNS, which is the domain name, this is a Google default IP address, which helps us to translate any IP address for us. Okay? And uh, this is a alternate DNS. So if we cannot reach this, we will use this. So uh, the default card here is the one that represents the LAN port on the MVR. So we have two cards here, the NIC1 and the NIC2. So the default one here represents the LAN port. So if I change it to NIC2, it becomes the LAN port, okay? Now, next. So here is pay to pay. Now, this is where we do our remote view, mobile view setups, okay? Now, if you scan on this code, it directs you to where you download the app for this system. And this is the serial number for the configuration. Now, I've already done a video on how you can set up your camera on your mobile phone. So, I think you should check that video out and understand how this particular interface works, okay? So we're going to next. Okay, now here is the camera list. Here is where we're going to be adding our cameras. Okay, you can search for it to add automatically. If you know the IP address by default, you can manually add. Okay, so uh, I'm going to slot in my uh, Ethernet cable so we can search for the whole cameras we have here installed already. Okay. Now, if our camera have not been initialized already, we can initialize it using the NVR, okay? Using this button here, we can initialize the IP cameras. If we have, already, if we have not initialized the cameras before, we can initialize it using the NVR. But like I said, I've already used uh, the config tool of Dawa to initialize and set up the cameras. What we need to do now is just to plug in our Ethernet cable and search for our cameras okay so let's add so this is my cable i'm going to slot it to nic1 which is the lamp port okay so let's search for the camera Okay, so I've searched for my devices. I have uh, up to what is that? I think seven devices here. So I've searched for all of them and they are complete. So I'm going to select and add. So if you watch, my cameras are already displaying. Okay. So once I'm done, once everything here turns green, I'll click on next. Okay, so this NVR has a provision for up to four hard disks, okay? So I have like uh, six terabytes here, one, two, three, four. So I have like four, six terabytes on this NVR, okay? All right, next. So here it's about... Um, all about schedules, okay? Uh, your recording schedule, how you want your recording to look like, okay? So if it's general, that means the camera should be recording 24-7, okay? If you want it to record only on motion, you can select only motion. That is whenever it detects a motion, it should record, okay? And we have uh, only for alarm. Then we'll have uh, both motion and alarm. For well, intelligent now, we, you know, we have the is a, an SMD feature whereby it, instead of saying we are detecting motion and all those things, it only detects um, vehicles and human beings. No matter how you disguise yourself to look like, whether you, disguise, you paint yourself to look like a dog, it will still detect you as a human being. And it will detect a vehicle coming, coming so it can record any of those motion. Apart from that, it won't record. Now, there's another option which, which is called the POS. Now, this um, the, uh, technology is whereby 
you can link it up to your POS sales machine whereby it picks up record of whatever sales has been done by bringing out your uh, sales receipt number and playing all the videos for your playback. It records all those things. Any sales that is being made, it records it under POS so that everything, and whenever someone comes for a complaint or something happened within a particular time, they pick up that particular POS uh, record record and impute it there. It brings out every information about that event. So I'm going to set this particular into general. I'm going to do a separate video on this particular scheduling. Okay, we're going to see how we can schedule a particular camera to do a particular thing. Okay, so I'm going to do a separate video on scheduling. Now let's go to next. Okay, this was snapshots pictures so instead of uh, recording videos it will be taking snapshot and be recording i'll also do a video on this separately so thank you for purchasing our product that is uh, a welcome greeting from uh, daoa so that's all about uh, the initial setup of an mvr okay so there are many features it has which we are going to be talking about but not in this video okay just search that's where uh, there's record the pictures query and uh, your playback uh, we we'll have the AI features we we'll have uh, the alarm feature we have uh, the POS function and we we'll have uh, the maintain where you can uh, you know set your the machine to factory reset and other setups yeah we we'll have our uh, backups videos and pictures and other setups so we're going to be having different videos on the explanation of uh, most of this okay here is a live live view okay then we have uh, admin login here we have a uh, logout some setup here logout reboot and shutdown so you can log out you can reboot the system and you can also shut it down okay then we have here for the QR code and uh, device serial number. So if you want to uh, view this device on your mobile phone, you can scan this to get the app and you can scan this to register the serial number. Okay. And also we have another tab here, which is for the uh, display settings and uh, the audio file management and audio play. So like I said, we're going to be having different video for these settings okay now let me just explain one or two here now this is uh different views you can view just a particular camera here if you can say camera one you can view uh four cameras okay display just four cameras and here you can display one to eight cameras so we are going to have uh, the big one to be one they are going to have uh uh you're going to have seven revolving it okay so something like this let's just see it so you can have uh, something like this. So you have the big one, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we have uh, one to nine. One to nine, uh, eight, 16, 17, to 25, 24, 32. We have uh, to display just 16 channels. And we have uh, 25, that is one to 25 and eight to 32. So different views here. Uh, different views. You can choose any view you want at all. In this particular point now this is ptz control now as we have any ptz camera here this is uh the control tab so we can use this to control our ptz the speed the zoom in and the zoom out the focus and the iris okay so this is the control for our ptz